CASA, or Court-Appointed Special Advocates of Lexington, predicted the pandemic would be devastating for children in abusive environments. And they expect to need more people on their team to handle what they believe will be record numbers of cases. They're offering a special virtual guided learning program for volunteers to help them stay the course and rebound from the setbacks the pandemic has caused. LEX 18's Claire Crouch has more in this edition of The Rebound Kentucky. CASA of Lexington provides an invaluable service. CASA is an opportunity to change a child's life for the better, and in some cases, save a child's life. When schools shut down and thousands of children were homebound for the foreseeable future, Director Melinda Jamison knew the reality for some of them would be grim. There's national studies out there that say that teachers are the number one reporter of child abuse, child neglect. And part of that is because they have consistent viewing of a child coming into their classroom or being absent. Anytime school is out, Jamison says the number of petitions pertaining to child abuse or neglect go down. And that's exactly what they've seen during the pandemic. And those numbers don't go down because the at-risk situations improve, but because they go unnoticed. Having eyes on a child in person is instrumental because Virtual is a positive compared to nothing for sure, but you, you might not see the full child. Through the pandemic, Jamison says CASA has been creative in working with around 500 kids, but she and her team still predict record numbers of cases when life returns to normal. And with many children once again not returning to in-person instruction, she's worried these challenges they're already facing and bracing for will only intensify and grow in number. So the longer we go in a virtual environment without having physical eyes, laying eyes on the child, I feel like the numbers are only going to soar. The concern becomes it's already an overloaded system. To tackle these challenges, CASA needs more volunteers, people 21 and older to become specially trained advocates who act as liaisons between a child and the state, often being the voice for the child in the courtroom and they're ready to train you now virtually. We have had infant cases where the judge in court has said if it weren't for CASA, I'm not sure we would have ever made it to this adoption day because I'm afraid this would have been a fatality case. Jameson says don't let your lack of knowledge of the system deter you. She says their online virtual training will prepare you and as always advocates will have the support of a full time staff member a team of people looking out for the most vulnerable children, making sure they don't become victims of the pandemic. In Lexington, Claire Crouch, LEX 18 News.